Welcome back to Digital Perspectives, everybody. I'm Brad Kimes. You can follow me on Twitter at Backup Bradley above on the top of the screen and everything that we're talking about here. We're going to cover some, I believe, some very, very important news that is really surfacing. Some of this we've reported on, but it's made headway and it's very, very important to this entire digital asset space. Okay, the first thing we're going to discuss is Kraken and something that uh, they bought a a business called Crypto Facilities out of London that was doing futures contracts. Uh, one of those particular products was XRP futures contracts. We're going to talk about that. The other thing we're going to talk about is the tokenization of STOs uh, in Gibraltar. And then we're going to talk about uh, ARCA labs now arca labs has done something very special too with the bond market in the united states of america now some time ago we reported on arca uh, pursuit to tokenize treasury bills and be able to offer them in a market we're going to get to that in a second a lot of really great stuff oh and we'll finish with a webinar from R3 and some professionals on that webinar who have very, very incredible opinion about what's going on with STOs. And one particular individual uh, who talks about uh, the difference between a permission network, a permissionless network, and an overall universal network as an option so this is going to be a good one today and we're going to sum it up with some remarks at the end so hang in there here we go all right so kraken futures has obtained uk license allowing it to operate its derivatives platform in the eu this is a basically an expansion uh they had obtained a uk license from the fca allowing it to operate derivatives platform in the entire eu region that is an expansion of what they've already been offering we have covered crypto facilities before it was even purchased by kraken the exchange so uh shout out to kraken futures and the expansion of their products which means that they now offer a a wider market of derivatives to that we'll take a look at it. it's a short article let's look at it so uh london-based subsidiary cryptocurrency exchange kraken has been approved to operate its derivatives platform by the uk's financial regulator crypto facilities known as kraken futures announced it has been granted multilateral trading facility uh license from the uk's final financial conduct authority on monday the license will allow institutional clients to trade on the futures platform who would otherwise be prohibited by law from trading in unlicensed exchanges the news marks crypto facilities as the first and only licensed derivatives platform offering exposure to leveraged cryptocurrencies in the European Union, according to the company. Jesse Powell, the co-founder and CEO of Kraken, said sophisticated investors will now be able to access crypto derivatives in the EU for the first time. While the UK is set to leave the EU at the end of the year, the deal is still being negotiated and it's not clear how regulatory licensing will treat, be treated after the event. Many firms are preparing for the possible eventuality that the passporting will be revoked. The FCA is planning a limited ban on selling crypto derivatives like exchange traded notes, arguing such products are ill suited for the retail investor. The re regulator put out a warning about popular cryptocurrency derivative exchange. BitMEX in March, saying the firm had been targeting UK investors without its approval. Crypto Facilities was acquired by San Francisco Kraken in February of 2019. We talked about it a minute ago. And an undisclosed deal thought to be far it, for at least $100 million. It currently offers up to 50 times leverage on Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin futures products. So... We're going to have to keep an eye on that because that is a further development, too, about the UK leaving the euro, right? So we're going to have to keep an eye on that and see if that affects the regulatory constraints on that that license they just obtained. So, okay, so interesting stuff there. Shout out to Kraken for that. And I want you to notice the theme as we go through this news today. And it's being released today, right? Tokenized exchange currency.com secures Gibraltar DLT license. Really? Now, listen what this is all about. Currency.com, the Belarus headquarters cryptocurrency exchange, best known for its tokenized shares, 
has secured a coveted Gibraltar license. The award of a second license is a coup for the regula- regulated exchange, further extending its reach and bolstering its credibility. The Gibraltar Financial Services Commission, GFSC, which awarded the distributed ledger technology license, is known for its rigorous scrutiny of applicants. Dubbed the world's first regulated tokenized exchange, Currency.com enables traders to swap crypto assets for commodities, shares, indices, and Forex. Did you get that? <laughs> crypto cur- or Currency.com enables traders to swap crypto assets for commodities, shares, indices, and forex popular markets include tesla and apple whose shares can be purchased in tokenized form tokenized government bonds and corporate bonds are also available is this on i just want to check see if this is on now futures license granted to kraken to move outside of the uk market into the whole eu Currency.com gets a second license from Gibraltar Financial Services to expand what they're doing to offer crypto assets for commodity shares and Forex. Markets include Tesla and Apple stock that can be purchased in tokenized form, along with tokenized government bonds and corporate bonds are also available. I'm going to keep reading, but you're getting it. Everybody's with me here? Okay. Jonathan Squires described the recipe or receipt of the, excuse me, the receipt of Gibraltar license as bolstering the platform's commitment to expanding across the globe, offering a blockchain-backed, highly regulated and secure service designed to give customers the flexibility they've been looking for. Gibraltar is demonstrating the willingness to embrace innovation, providing a testbed for emerging technologies, including blockchain. Its regulatory bodies permit businesses to uh, that meet its compliance standards to operate from the British overseas territory that lies at the southern tip of the Iberian Iberian, uh, Peninsula, allowing them to expand into new markets. Having built a thriving industry based on and around uh, gambling, online gambling, it was natural for Gibraltar to look favorably upon other digital businesses that operate ethically, but within a tightly regulated environment, starting with blockchain. More than 20 crypto companies have set up shop in Gibraltar, including wallets, exchanges, custody providers. Receiving approval from the regulators on the island is anything but easy. However, after receiving its DLT license in May, derivatives exchange zuber spoke the, of the hoops it had uh had to jump through we had to be comfortable with a lot of additional checks and outsourcing providers to make sure that the trading was transparent and that the market structure was solid so there's no manipulation whatsoever uh recounted the chief legal officer uh currency.com eyes global expansion since launching in 2018 currency.com has grown into a global powerhouse setting up offices in london london minxed and gibraltar uh the exchange enables users to buy and sell popular cryptocurrencies as well as trade traditional assets including popular shares and fx with tokens that mirror the value of the asset Currency.com novel approach to tokenizing shares and commodities has since been emulated by DeFi projects seeking to deploy the same capabilities in a trustless setting. The new license obtained by Currency.com will allow the company to use distributed ledger technology for storing or transmitting value in connecting with the provision of dealer and custody services. It paves the way for implementation of new products and services that utilize the underlying technology on which Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto economy was built. Very exciting. And it gets even better. Months ago, we covered Arca Labs. Arca Labs had been seeking the permission to tokenize U.S. Treasury bills on the Ethereum network. Well, guess what? They got it. 
A Bitcoin exchange traded fund may never receive approval from the U.S. Securities Exchange commitment, but an even stranger crypto investment vehicle finally has. A blockchain is tra a transferred fund. Listen to this. This is pretty, pretty interesting here. On Monday, Los Angeles-based money manager ARCA began selling shares in the ARCA U.S. Treasury Fund. A, and the SEC registered close-end fund whose digital shares, R coins, trade atop the Ethereum blockchain. The fund invests in a majority of its assets in short-term U.S. Treasury bills and notes. The company told Coindesk it received a notice of effectiveness on July 6th. Congratulations, ARCA. The launch makes the first time uh, the crypto skeptical SEC has allowed a fund represented by cryptographics tokens to enter the investment markets under the Investment Company Act of 1940. ARCA has been pushing for various forms of the ARCoin uh, proposal for nearly 20 months, as shown in the regulatory filings. Our announcement today is groundbreaking and transform transformative step towards the unification of traditional finance with digital asset investing as the new category of regulated digital investment products is made available to investors, said ARCA CEO Rain Steinberg in a press statement. The executives previously heralded their proposed fund as a pace setter for hybrid digital asset class. Our coin marries perhaps the investment world's leaky or least risky asset, excuse me, treasuries with blockchain, the up and coming tech backbone they believe will lend efficiency and security to the trading and settlement process. Specifically, ARCA's digital development wing, ARCA Labs, chose the Ethereum blockchain, one of the largest blockchains in the world, on the landing uh, and the landing site of many novel crypto assets, including so-called digital securities Rcoin, which uses the ERC-1404 protocol, according to the June 24th prospectus. ERC-1404 is more restrictive derivative of the popular ERC-20 interoperability protocol. The main difference is that the ERC-1404 restricts where holders can send a token to a collection of whitelisted addresses. That's a crucial point for regulators worry of letting tokens outside of their scope. Man, oh man, oh man. I know there's a lot of people out here right now going, you know, hey, good for Ethereum. What's this got to do with Ripple XRP? I personally believe that this is going to all tie in to a universal ledger, which is the XRP ledger. I really do. Don't believe it. I think it's still true. Uh, we're going to move now. But listen, this is here's the let's just recap here. Now we've got Kraken expanding, getting a license on the same day. Gibraltar's got their license and now they're are, are given their license to uh, currency.com. They're offering tokenized stocks. We know that Sologenics already been in position to, to launch to do that, right? Now here we see Arca, who has been in a 20 month run to get this approved. And now they are now cleared from the SEC to sell U.S. Treasury bills and notes for the first time as tokenized. Come on. This is remarkable. All happening on the same day. Is anybody else feeling like somebody's got some clarity somewhere? How did all this coincidentally come out on the same day? Oh, boy. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. It's moments like these that just feel a little too coincidental. Well, guess what this is? This is a webinar replay from R3. I haven't gotten through the entire thing yet, but believe me, it is really good. This is professionals from in the finance industry. The gentleman down there at the bottom, uh, Deepak, is from Citibank and also a corporate venture capitalist. Uh, and I can't remember the other people on the panel just a second uh, in their background. But trust me, they are all professionals in the finance banking world, investment world, and they're extremely smart. Now, this was done on June 16th. But it was just recently made available, so I was able to sign up for it and get this. You will actually have to sign up for this yourself 
and get your you know give your email and what you do and all of this and then they'll, they'll let you watch it i'm pretty sure but at any rate i want to just play this quick clip here where they are discussing the idea on no and notion what would be better a permission system to to work uh security token offerings stos on a permissionless network or a universal system well let's listen here it starts with sharing you want un uh, from China, and then it goes to Christian here afterwards. Let's listen to these responses here. Let me get the volume so you guys can hear. Yes. Um, so for R three, and um, we, we believe in um, mission mission network um, because we, a lot of um, privacy is really critical of financial institutions. So a lot of uh, one of the top requirements for financial institution when it comes to blockchain is privacy and scalability. So we are always proposing um, to our customers, and in fact, these are one of the um, main requirements from our customers um, to actually build it on a permission method. Okay, everyone agrees. Um... So. Um... I like this idea of implementing a new global technical infrastructure that can be used by everyone, right? Um, Whoa, a new global technical infrastructure that can be used by everyone, right? No? Whoa, go Christian. How about that for coming out of the gate? Keep listening. Moving the entire capital market infrastructure to a new level, collaboration layer, um, which is, in my opinion, um, probably something that um, permissionless networks try to achieve but also we've learned from the past that they are still um, not really feasible within capital markets at least for specific business cases because as Sharon pointed out correctly I mean you need settlement finality how does that work with proof of work right um, mm, how does that work with proof of work you need settlement finality how does that work with proof of work they understand Listen, I don't mean to take a shot at Bitcoin, but we're not talking about Bitcoin in the words of Christine Lagarde. Let's keep it going here. You need um, privacy within those, net this, those networks. How does that work with broadcasting, right? Um, and then, of course, throughput is still a problem that needs to be um, tackled in the long run. So throughput, throughput ties into interoperability, does it not? Here we go. Um, I think I think that we see a lot of um, initiatives currently using permission networks because it's easier to fulfill regulatory requirements with those networks and tackle some of the challenges that we see with permissionless networks. And, but I also like the idea of using one global infrastructure layer that allows, I don't know, um, a capital market participant in Thailand um, seamlessly communicate and exchange assets and cash with a network participant from Europe. Um, so wow, did you hear what he just said? Let's back this up. Casting, right? Um, and then, of course, throughput is still a problem that needs to be um, tackled in the long run. So... Um, I think I think that we see a lot of um, initiatives currently using permission networks because it's easier to fulfill regulatory requirements with those networks and tackle some of the challenges that we see with permissionless networks. And, but I also like the idea of using one global infrastructure layer that allows, I don't know, um, a capital market participant in Thailand um, seamlessly communicate and exchange assets and cash with a network participant from Europe. Um, so it will be very interesting to see what happens in the next five years or so. Thank you. I mean, that is pretty remarkable right there. This guy is nailing it. A universal trust layer listen <laughs> you know don't believe me when you hear a youtuber say it you know but these people are on a web r3 webinar and they are in finance and banking and payments they understand what the pain points are they understand what the solution needs to be even if they're not directly aware of all the choices he's clearly clearly laying it out to everyone that if there is a universal trust layer to build on you can get anything done right because then you have the interoperability and the ability for all the throughput that you could ever want okay so 
obviously this came out June 16th, but on this news today, the U.S. is now offer or ARCA is now offering U.S. Treasury bills cleared by the SEC with their blessing. We have Currency.com secures another DLT license that is allowing them on the same day to offer tokenized government and corporate bonds as well as uh, purchase tokenized stock in fractional amounts and swap cryptocurrencies for commodities and shares and like. And Kraken also has announced that they have gotten an expansion to their license to be able to move into the entire EU region with the crypto facilities now Kraken Futures Company offering futures products on the top crypto assets, including XRP, which, by the way, XRP has always had futures in that particular Lond- out of London and crypto facilities. They've been sold, but now they've been able now they are able to expand that region to which they sell them all on the same day. I don't know. We got some clarity coming to us sometime soon, because how else do all of these things happen on the same day? I, I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled, head on a swivel. This is crypto. You never know. Hit the like and subscribe, guys. Leave a comment below, and we'll catch you on the next one.